I love this opera. I love this character. I know uh, oftentimes people think of her as just this crazed, uh, maybe sex crazed uh, uh, weirdo teenager. Um, I see her as so much more. I see her uh, as such a complex character. I find all of these characters incredibly complex. So what I think is interesting is when we look back at what I see as the traditional Salome. I get two questions when I say that I'm singing Salome from people who know this opera. Uh, will you be naked and are you doing your own dance? Um, there seems to be, there's nothing in the score that says that she will be naked. Of course, the Dance of the Seven Veils is, is a seduction and, and, um, and, you know, taking layers away. What's frustrating sometimes about the way that people think of Salome is they think of a young, spoiled, bratty princess. I see her as so much more. I see her uh, as such a complex character. I find all of these characters incredibly complex. And the music uh, tells us so much about, there is a lot of craziness that happens, but in life there's a lot of craziness, right? There is blood and death and sex and um, bad decisions and kindness and terror in, in so many operas. I love that Salome has this sort of bad boy mystique, you know? And I've been so lucky to sing this in German, uh, in Germany, and I feel like there's something very special about doing the language is very important in this piece. It will be a different experience, but I'm really excited because this is home. And so I get to be with my family, with my family's friends, with my friends, and uh, sharing with them what it is that I do, what I love doing, and in a role that is really, really special to me. We speak about Me Too, I think what's also interesting to see is not that women are held down, but we get to see how women who throughout the ages have not been given traditional positions of power very readily. And so what we see is that bright women, strong women, found ways to survive and to find their own power despite the lack of power being handed to them. And so we see how brilliant women have been throughout the ages to circumnavigate the problems that, that they're handed. There's so much inside of each of these characters and it's very complicated and it's incredibly layered. And sometimes our rehearsals can get really intense because we're all talking about, well, what would happen? What happened here and why did they do this? Why does she do this? What is causing that? And that's good drama. I don't know how Strauss came up with this piece. He was a nut job, I guess, because like there's so much like crazy that happens in this score and it is all perfect and it tells a story. There wouldn't even have to be any words, but then you have Hofmannsthal who comes up with all of these amazing, uh, this libretto, it's, it's like, it's a story that can mean something in every different age that it's told. And so when we read the libretto of Salome in a post Me Too world, and when we read it in a pre Me Too world, I actually think it's really exciting what we're talking about right now. The, the sort of focus of the feminine, it's all in there. You, you can't tell me that it wasn't meant to be there in the first place.